Well, welcome. Um, still talking about arc length. I'm going to do it relatively quickly. The arc length, which is a part of the circumference of a circle, yeah? And in this case, they don't give me the whole circle, they just give me that part of the circle. Look at that. Now, part of the circumference is 12 meters, yeah? So the actual circle, uh, as you can imagine, uh, would look roughly if I had sketched it like this. Anyway, they give me also an angle. It's a little bit less than a quarter of a circle, eh? 85 degrees, just a little bit less than 90 degrees, which would be a quarter. And now the question is, what is x? What is the radius? Yeah, so I'm looking for a length. Now, if you like, you have to perform all those operations. Yeah? So these are uh, inverse operations. And don't get overwhelmed, perhaps, by all the things you need to do. Just write the, the, the things down that you know. Uh, what is the circumference of a circle? Well, you know that is 2 times pi times the radius. And you know now that for arc length, you would multiply that then by that fraction of the circle, that part of the circle that you're interested in. And that is 85 out of 360. Okay, and that equals the arc length, and that in this case is 12. So I was a little bit overwhelmed, but by writing the things down I know, by writing down the information they give to me, I've actually just constructed an equation. Okay, now what is the radius? Well, that's what we're looking for. So 2 pi r, yeah, and 2 pi is a number, right? you can put it in your calculator, but I'm just going to leave it like that because I'm going to get a lot of decimals otherwise, times 85 over 360. Well, if you'd like, you could even simplify that if you don't, uh, if you're a little bit scared of that, that is 17 out of 72, okay, equals, it's a factor of 5 you take out, equals 12, yeah. 2 pi times 17 over 72 equals 12. 2 pi r, I should say. Well, that is just all one big multiplication. So I could actually multiply um, this fraction by 2. Yeah, just hustle it around a little bit. And if you do that and you simplify that, my calculator tells me 17 over 36 pi r equals 12. So all I've done is I've multiplied this fraction by 2, and I still have pi r equals 12. Now if I would have now 6r equals 12, then I would say, well, r is 2, because I would divide both sides by that coefficient. Yeah? But now that coefficient looks, or is a little bit longer, but I still do the same. I do 12 divided by 17 over 36 pi, Yeah, because that's going to give me r. They're all multiple uh, multiplication signs in between, yeah? Equals, so my calculator, 12 divided by, let's put some brackets there, 17 over 36, yeah? Um, and I should do that properly. So let me start over, 17 over 36 times pi, yeah? so make sure that pi is in the denominator. Um, equals, and then my calculator tells me 8.088 and a couple of more decimals, but because it's a length, we have to round it to three significant figures, one, two, three, so the eight stays an eight, or goes up to a nine, and it goes up to a nine, well done, and we're talking about meters, okay, so again, a lot of um, calculations involved, but it's nothing really to be scared of. Yeah? This is rearranging an algebraic equation. Yeah? They give me the arc length, they give me an angle, um, so I have to find the radius. Now, I cannot do that mentally myself, neither can you properly, uh, probably. So just write down the things uh, you know. Uh, 2 pi r times that fraction of the circle equals 12, uh, that's the arc length, and then you rearrange it, you play with that equation and you solve it. 8.09 corrected to three significant figures. All right, I'll see you at the next question.